Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and you may remember me from PRI TV. Now today I'm here on Technically Speaking and we are going to be using this Mitsubishi Evo 9 to demonstrate how to set up the long term and short term fuel trims on the new Platinum Pro plug-in ECU. Now when you purchase your Haltech Evo 9 Platinum Pro plug-in, comes in a box, inside that box get the ECU. Now this computer plugs directly into the factory Mitsubishi harness. On the back of the ECU we have an auxiliary breakout connector. This is for additional outputs that the factory Mitsubishi harness does not have. There is also communications connector and of course the CAN port. You get a software CD. Now if we have updated the software or if you've purchased an ECU uh, some months ago or some years ago even, you can get the latest software from our website which is www.haltech.com. Of course a connection cable and there is also a quick start guide to get you up and running and most importantly, Haltech sticker. Unplugging factory Mitsubishi ECU and plug the Haltech ECU in. Now we've plugged in the Haltech ECU and I've connected the, the map sensor up because in this case the base map is set up to run using the internal map sensor on the Haltech ECU which means you can eliminate the airflow meter which is good for high performance applications. Now we've got the, the software installed on our laptop and we should be able to start the car and it should just run. And there you have it. So now let's get to tuning. Now that we're online with the ECU and the engine's already tuned, it's important to note that you don't want to use the long term and short term fuel trims as a replacement for correct engine tuning. But once the engine's tuned, we want to go online and press the F4 to get into the main setup. From the main setup we want to go to the advanced tab and in here you'll notice that we have both the O2 control and the long term fuel trim turned on. This is important because the long term fuel trim is actually based on the short term fuel trim. The short term fuel trim is simply O2 control. So let's go into that menu first. Within the O2 control you can see that we have the sensor type set to narrow band. Now that's important because on this car the factory sensor is a narrow band sensor. If you wanted to use a wide band then that's fine. You can install that and simply select your sensor type to wideband and of course Haltech we do sell a dual channel wideband controller for this purpose. Now it is important to note that if you are using a narrowband O2 sensor then because it can only read rich or lean of 14.7 to 1 or lambda of 1 then any time in your target air fuel ratio map that you have a value other than lambda 1 or 14.7 to 1 AFR which of course are the same thing any time you have a value other than one of those the narrowband sensor is not capable of reading it, which simply means any time in your target AFR map that you have those values other than lambda 1 or air fuel ratio 14.7 to 1, that the O2 control, both long term and short term, will not be applied. Simply saying, if you're not shooting for lambda 1, then this sensor is not capable, therefore, we're not going to enable any trim. Okay. So now that we've set up the basics, what we want to do is actually go from the O2 control and look at the long term trim. Remembering that the long term trim is based on the short term trim, which is the O2 control. Within the long term trim, you see we have quite a few different values to program. All the values that are currently programmed have been set up and are running on a vehicle, so they should work pretty well in most applications, but you still may want to tweak these. So what we have is the activation point. Now the activation point, that is simply how far out of whack does the short term fuel trim need to be before the long term trim is applied. Now I've got selected 3% here which simply says if the short term fuel trim, the O2 control, is doing more than a 3% trim then the, the long term fuel trim is going to start becoming active. But it's only going to become active after I've gone over the activation timer period. That is in this case 30 seconds. 
So if I'm doing short term fuel trim of more than 3% for over 30 seconds then the long term fuel trim is kicked in. How much gets kicked in? Well that's the increment. It starts in half a percent increments. So basically what happens is we get half a percent more or less fuel depending on which way the trim is going for a period of one second, in this case a thousand milliseconds. This keeps on adding up until it gets to the maximum trim per session. In this case I've got it set to two and a half percent. So essentially what's going to happen is my long term fuel trim is going to work in in slots of 30 seconds. Okay, So it looks at the, at the short term trim, says am I above or below 3% trim? If I am above that then I'm going to activate the long term trim, I'm going to increase in half a percent increments up to two and a half percent over a 30 second period then I'm just going to wait for a little while. It gives the chance the engine a chance to settle down a little.